Senator Arlen Speck oh my God, died. Just died. And I remember my mother saying, and he's not talking about don't it again. say anything good about the dead. Don't say anything. That's cute, Now Bob. the latest news on global that, warming. That's cute. And this is from England. You know the Met office there in England? That's... Britain is like the world's repository of global warming hype with Al Gore. If Al Gore moved to England, then that's it. It would all be there. And they have their Met Office, which is their National Weather and Climate Service. And the Met Office releases every six, month, every six months or so the data of the temperature of the world. What does the world... Uh, what's the world's temperature? And it's so amazing what uh, how the media has not reported on the current release of data. <laughs> you know, they say for 40 years or so, the temperature was flat and declining slightly, getting cooler. Then for 16 years, 1980 to 1996, the temperature increased slightly. Now, for the 16 years since then, the temperature Your call is important to us. We will be with you shortly. Well, guess what? The chart is right on uh, this story, the Daily Mail. They're the only ones that this initially. After a very quiet release of the data, global warming stopped. We're talking about global warming. And a dead senator, you have nothing good to say about the dead, don't say anything. Don't say anything at all. Mm -hmm. He assures us that throughout the rest of the world, throughout all the future of this planet, we will have summer and winter, fall and spring, we'll have these seasons. Okay. And so, if you recall, in fact, if you go to our website, kgup.com slash global warming slash warming, however you want to do it, even if you get it wrong, it'll pop right up in the surface. Oh, hi, Daryl. Um, I was wondering if Bob Enyart was going to talk about the dismembered girl that's down his street. Is he going to talk about that on the radio at all? Because he's talking about global warming and there's a dead girl right down his street. Oh, you're not going to talk, Daryl? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you gonna hang up on me? What's up? Oh, Come on! What the f? Come on! All their names are on Here, put it on speaker. You can all hear it. Oh. Go to your phone. Hold it right next to you. Mm -hmm. There's a total of 31,000 the Yep, yep. Uh, hi, is this Al? Hi, Al. This is Danielle. I'm calling to let you know the FBI is coming for you guys about the dismembered body that Bob refuses to talk about. You might want to put me on the air if you guys want to talk about something more important than, than global warming. Uh -oh. The FBI is coming, guys. Are they hang up again? Yep. <laughs> oh, Al, what's up? Come on, man. Come, Come on. on. Right now, you, call, you tell people to call in. 1-800- when I'm right. Come on. Our sun is like the typical star in the Milky Way. We'd all be crispy critters. <laughs> We'd be bright. They vary their output. <laughs> Our sun is amazingly stable. Because God created not only the whole cosmos, but even our Milky Way, even our solar system. Come on, answer. And especially our Earth, Moon, Sun system for the preservation of life. That's that's why God made this. For us and for his glory and pleasure. <laughs> and so the FBI is coming for you, Bob Enyart. You've dismembered a little girl, and you're not talking about it on the radio again. Connie, Sharon, Al, Daryl, you're all going down. You're all going down. You've dismembered a baby, you hypocritical pieces of crap. You're going down. The FBI's coming. Hope you're running. Hope you're running. Hope you're running. Hope you're running.